Happy Halloween, everybody! It's Brew by Me! See my pumpkin? The pumpkin's over there. See it? There it is. It's over there. There! Just love one. Anyways, Happy Halloween! Friday! What time that is? It's time for a beer! Hail to the yeah! So, I'm going to be reviewing a beer from Quebec, Canada, or Quebec, Canada. Um, this is uh, from the uh, Rego, Quebec. Uh, this is the Le Castor Brewing Company. Microbrasserie Le Castor. This is their oatmeal stout, 5% ABV. Oatmeal stouts are one of my favorite stouts. Now, I picked this up on my way to the cottage to close it, so uh, about in September. Let it sit for a bit, uh, because uh, I could. Anyways, um, organic beer, malted barley, roasted barley, flaked oats, hops, brewers, yeast, water, organic. So everything with an asterisk is organic, so... Water and brewer's yeast is not organic. Alright. Product of Quebec. Alright, so it says it's good with hamburgers. It's good with ragu, which is like a, you know, goulash or... Uh, it's good with uh, beef. See, it gives you pictures. Beef, ragu, hamburger. Now, what else does it tell me here? Re a 20 cent refund on this bottle. Six, what is it? 660 milliliter bottle, so it's an odd bottle size. Full bodied and malty, this stout will win you over. Your senses will be seduced by its dark chocolate aroma and coffee flavor. Its silky smooth texture is courtesy of the flaked oats. This beer goes great with your favorite comfort foods. Mmm. It's a pretty cool uh, cap. Look at that cap. Eh? Yeah. I'm assuming it's the paw of a beaver because the castor is a beaver. Let me use my big bows, stuff glass, um, tulip glass, stem glass, the, however you want to call it. So. I had only two beers from this company. The last one was the Akima Valley IPA, which was very good, actually. So, without further ado, let's crack her open. Some smokage there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at the darkness. Look at the darkness. Come on. Show me some head. There we go. So. It's very dark. Actually, no. It's I can see right through it. It's like a. It's like I don't know. Here, can you guys see? No way. Not very good. Eh? Anyways, it's kind of like it's very dark, but you can see through it. Like if you have it in the right light, like here you can't, but over here at the sun. You can see it's a very dark brown. The head's dissipated, but uh, you know you got a half finger head there. Let's give it a smell. All right. So initially, the initial roll I get is a slight bit of baker's chocolate some black coffee, a faint bit of molasses, sweetness, some roastiness, and kind of a floral earthy type hop. Cheers. Hmm. 
lights to lower medium body. Light to medium carbonation. So I take a sip of it, <clears throat> and right up front, it's kind of like a metallic kind of taste. As it trickles across your tongue, that kind of chocolate, dark, bitter chocolate, and the, the, the black coffee kind of comes out. And molasses is very faint in the back. That metallic taste stays in your tongue. It's the back of your throat. It dries out fairly nice, and you're ready for another swig, but... I'm not getting that that smooth texture from an oatmeal stout. I'm not getting that smooth texture from an oatmeal stout that you, you normally get. Like I've had several oatmeal stouts, so they're one of my favorites, and my oatmeal stout that I make is very good. And uh, um, Lee has reviewed it, and I think Albino Rhino has reviewed it as well. And since then, I've actually uh, um, perfected the recipe, so it's more rounded, I guess. It was good when they f when they tried it. Obviously, they said it was good, but it was just missing a little oomph, and I fixed it. So you know, it takes a couple batches, and you fix it. Once you have it the first time, you try it. Okay, this could be changed. That can be changed. All right. So that's how you do it. But you know, anyways. Back to the spear. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so back to this beer. It looks nice. It smells okay. It doesn't taste that great. Um, you know, I, I don't... Um, I picked it up at the grocery store, the IGA, on the way to the cottage. So I don't know how long it was in the grocery store for, but um, you know it's it's meh. It's a meh oatmeal stout, you know, like uh, Saint Ambrose oatmeal stout blows this shit out of the water, like it blows it out of the water. Um, <clears throat> so there you. You know, there's not much more I can say about it. it it's it's just a mess. It's an entry level oatmeal stout. Um, it tastes okay, but it could be so much better. Now I have some head. Go figure. The end of the review. So let's be fair. All right. I don't know how old this bottle is because I picked it up at the IGA. I don't know how long it stays on the shelf at the IJ before they change it out. It is 5% ABV. Is it a, is it a oatmeal stout? Yeah. Could it be a better oatmeal stout? Yes. Um, you know, I probably... <sighs> I wouldn't buy it again. And if I did, it would be as fresh as I could find it to give it a um, a politically a correct uh, review. But if it tastes like this, I don't think I'd buy it again. Um, if somebody offered to me, yes, I would drink it, um, only out of you know uh, respect for the person. Um, you know, it's not my favorite oatmeal stout. Um, you know. You win some, you lose some. This isn't that great. Uh, you know, I've had much better oatmeal stouts. Um, it does pass, but at the lowest, lowest passing mark possible. And uh, yeah, so there you have it, guys, girls. Uh, if you can find it fresh, try it. Let me know how you think. If not, 
then don't worry about it because it's not uh, fantastic at all. It's okay. It's just meh. Um, you know, they could have done a lot more with it. So, um, closing thoughts. Uh, Malt profile. Excuse me. You got some Turo in there. Caramel crystal malts in there. Some roasted barley. Some chocolate malt and some black malt. Hops. I'm gonna say dirty, earthy, floral kind of hops. Fuggles, Nugget, East uh, East Kent Golden, that type of style of hop. Um, you know, it's okay. Um, so, there you have it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like my videos. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, leave any ideas or suggestions down there in the box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please, please. Uh, um, like the videos and comment. Uh, you know, I do my best at uh, commenting on everybody's comments that they comment to me, and I, I really like that feedback. But uh, you know, I'm trying to get some more comments on my videos and some more likes on my videos. You know, if there's anything you guys think I can do to change, let me know. All right, peeps. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. Cheers. <laughs>